Hello everyone, I'm Ryan Liberty and in this video I'm going to answer the question what is cognitive behavioral therapy, also known as CBT. Ah. Alright, here I am and I'm going to answer the question what is cognitive behavioral therapy, also known as CBT and how it works. Now I've got my notes here to make sure I've got the right information for you and let's get into exactly what it is. So cognitive behavioral therapy is a goal-oriented therapy, which means that when you go, come in to see a therapist, there's going to be a focus on very specific problems that you're having from session to session. Uh, you're going to be going towards a goal, and it's going to be very clear between you and the therapist exactly what you're going for. It's a short-term therapy, which means it's typically from five to ten months, um, one session per week. It can be shorter than five months, it can run longer than ten months, but that's the general um, to length of time it takes. It's often personalized to your particular situation, which is why those goals are important because they are what you need to move on and to continue your life in a healthy way. And it focuses on cognitive processes, as the name suggests, cognitive behavioral therapy. So the cognitive processes are not the, are things like not the events that are happening to us that are bothering us, but our thoughts about the events. So if, if a particular event has stressed us out, it's, the focus is not going to be on the event, it's going to be focused on how we react in our mind and how we think about that event. Uh, it also focuses on negative thoughts, which often keep us stuck and they validate our negative experience. So if you have a bad experience, and you continue to think negative thoughts, you may act, um, this is the behavior part of cognitive behavioral therapy, you may start to act in a way that validates those negative thoughts and continues this cycle of being in a negative place. So it ch part of the therapy is to challenge some of those thoughts. You also have automatic thoughts, which are emotion-filled thoughts that just kind of happen in reaction to something. So that's something else that will be looked into. And you have dysfunctional assumptions, which are the rules that you have for living, which may be keeping you stuck in this negative pattern that you're experiencing. So all of that is something that could be looked at in cognitive behavioral therapy. There's often homework, which is agreed upon by you and the therapist. Um, and it's something that you'll get the homework in session, they'll send it home with you, you'll attempt to do it, um, sometimes you'll be able to do it, sometimes you won't be able to, you'll come back and then you'll discuss with the therapist how, how well it worked out for you and if you weren't able to do the homework, um, why that is, how it was challenging, and then they'll modify for the next homework to continue you moving forward for the next session. So it's a continual revisiting of this homework to make sure that you are moving forward and you're going towards those goals that you agreed upon. It's something that can also be done in a group setting, but it's not necessary. Uh, and in this type of therapy, the therapist is on an equal ground with the client. So you don't come into cognitive behavioral therapy looking up to the therapist to have all the answers for you. You come in equally participating and collaborating with the therapist on an equal level. Um, the way that cognitive behavioral therapy works is through learning coping skills, through changing your behaviors and your beliefs, um, having a model relationship with the therapist, which may not have been present in your life before. So the therapist kind of stands in as a type of relationship which you may not have experienced in your life. And it's something that can also be attempted through self-help. So if you're not uh, willing to see a therapist or not able to see a therapist, you can attempt to get some self-help books and try it on your own. Or as part of the homework, um, you can do it on your own, which is why it would be self-help. So that's just a quick little overview of what cognitive behavioral therapy is, also known as CBT. I hope that has given you a good description of it. I'd love to know what your experience has been with CBT. So leave me a comment below so I can check it out. And I thank you for joining me here in the video to learn about it today. Hey, it's Ryan Liberty. If you liked that video, please give it a thumbs up, share with a friend, and leave any questions or comments down below because that would really help me out. 
If you're somebody who's gone through a traumatic event and you're feeling cut off from the people around you, I have a free course that will help with that. So please click to get it. And if you'd like to see the rest of my videos, please click subscribe. As always, I want to remind you that your life matters. Nobody can question your worth. However it is that you're feeling, whatever it is that you're going through, it's okay and you are loved. Thanks again for watching.